guys it's Sherry here and today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial but first I'd like to talk a little bit about Ipsy. Ipsy is an organization that puts together makeup bags or boxes depending on what plan you buy after you fill out your personal profile. Um, the box comes with five full-size sample products and I believe is $25 and the bag comes with five small size sample products and I believe is $10. Personally I think the box is worth the money because you get more product. Um, but Ipsy's put together these makeup bags to inspire people to experiment with makeup and different products and different colors. And it's just, it's a really cool thing you know, that I really enjoy doing. And, um, it's just, it's, I really do love it. It's fun. It's, you know, it's like Christmas every month because you don't know what you're going to get. And it's just really, really cool. And I really do enjoy it. Um, jumping into the video, we're going to go ahead and start off with a little bit of moisturizer. And I'm gonna use the Ahava Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. It's an Ipsy exclusive. It says that right on the bottle too. And this is like my favorite all time primer, or not primer, uh, moisturizer. I use it um, as soon as I wake up, right before my makeup. Uh, after I wash my face in the morning, or I'll wash my face, which I've already done, and then I'll put it on. Um, or I'll put it on at night after I wash my face. Because when you wash your face, your face gets really dry. Um, but this is my all-time favorite moisturizer. I'm just going to blend that into my skin and let that absorb the moisture. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my brows while that is absorbing into my skin. And I'm going to use this brow pencil. And I can't say the name because it's in Chinese and I don't speak Chinese. But I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like normally. So, I did one eyebrow without talking. I'm going to talk through this one. So, what I do, or how I fill in my eyebrows, there's like moisturizer on my nose that's not rubbed in anyway, um, is I draw a line underneath the eyebrow. Very lightly. And then I go to the top of the eyebrow and I just start where the eyebrow is the darkest. And I go from that part all the way to the tail following the natural arch of my eyebrow. And for mm, the second part of the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with a brow gel, and I'm going to use the Institute Brow Gel. My bangs are being annoying. I'm going to use the Institute Brow Gel in light brown. And this is just going to lighten up the eyebrows so they look a little more natural. And it's also going to blend out that pencil that we put in. Uh, 
All right, now time for a foundation. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mix these two foundations together. I'm gonna mix this for a Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in the shade Light. And because this one is actually lighter than this one. No, this one's lighter than this one, but I need to be a little darker. I'm gonna put in two drops of the um, Glamouflage Mix-In Pigment. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Milani. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on a flat surface so put a little bit right here maybe a little more okay and then I'm gonna take the pigment drops it's like really liquidy I just added two drops. Now I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger. And apply it like normal. Alright, and then I'm gonna go in the beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this out all over the face trying to avoid the eyebrows as much as possible And for, with the rest of that concealer that I had, I'm going to pick up some of that and apply it underneath the eyes and on any, like, problem areas. And because I haven't been sleeping lately, I have dark circles under my eyes. Go in with the same beauty blender and blend that out. My ears itching. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this uh, pressed setting powder by CoverGirl called Clean Matte in the shade Classic Ivory, and just set all the foundation and concealer in place. No, I don't really have a set look quite yet because on days that I'm just getting ready, I usually just wing it and let my 
conscious decide what I want to wear. And this is a get ready with me, so we're not going to have a set look on this one. Okay. Now it's time to bronze. So I'm going to go in with this um, GG Gorgeous bronzer. This dual pack bronzer, and I'm going to use the lighter shade. And I'm going to bronze my whole face. So cheekbones, jawline, and forehead. And then I'm going to contour a little bit on my nose. So I'm going to take a smaller fl fl fluffy brush and use, <coughs> I'm sorry, and use that same um, bronzer shade that I was using. Okay, now we're done with the contour, we're going to do blush. So I'm going to take this palette right here. This is the um, Madison Miller Ofer palette. And I'm going to use this blush right here. A nice fluffy brush. Then for highlighter, we're gonna go in with this Huda Beauty palette. And I'm gonna use this white shade right here. Nice fluffy brush, pick up a little bit of that. Tap off excess, I need a mirror. time for the eyes so for the eyes I'm gonna get a, a little bit of this concealer this is the uh, be bright concealer it doesn't have a shade on it which is kind of sucks but I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the eyelid and use that as primer I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger And 
And then I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and blend that out a little bit more so it's not too much concealer on my eyes. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in, and let's see, do I want a rose look or do I want, I want a rose look, okay. Or not a rose, but a pink look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Huda Liquid Matte um, lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. I'm going to apply that to my eyes. eyes. Just a little bit of it. And this is just going to add a little bit of color to the base. So I'm going to use that same flat brush. And I'm going to go into this uh, Color Workshop Rose Palette. And I'm going to pick up this dark pink shade right here. And put set that liquid, found, uh, liquid lipstick with it. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush and I'm gonna pick up this pink shade right here and pop that into the crease to kind of soften out the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and I have uh, to use this dual ended brush and use a smaller end and pick up that dark pink again and apply that to the lower lash line. I'm gonna go do eyeliner and I'm gonna use this black eyeliner by Wet n Wild to blend my waterline.
then I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to use this It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And just run this through my lashes. See, we got eyes done, brows, face. Time for the lips. So for the lips, what, what, what color do I want to do with the lips? Do I want to do a nude color? Do I want to do lip gloss? Or do I want to do like a red? I'm gonna go with more of a nude lip. So I'm gonna use this. Um, that was upside down. A uh, Belle and Argent uh, matte lip color in the shade three plays. And it's a, like a nude pink color. That is everything. So we did a nice um, eyebrow, nice pink look, uh, eye look, a little bit of mascara and a little bit of eyeliner. We did a nice highlight and blush and bronzer throughout the entire face. Uh, we used a nice nude pink lip to kind of settle down the look a little bit. Um, and that is it. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe it to see more. And I will see y'all later. Bye.